Having a non-Christian husband means that um, our life as a family doesn't revolve around church. That means that I have to work that little bit harder to try and keep Jesus at the centre of my life. And one of the things that I do that is really, really helpful with that is to pick a book with a friend, um, a Christian book, and we read it, usually about a chapter a week, and we try and meet up once a week to discuss the book, uh, what we've read, what we like, what we didn't like, um, and also to pray together, again, about what we read, but also about other things that are going on in our lives. Sometimes when we actually, or when I read the book, it's a bit of a rush. It should be, oh my life, we're meeting tomorrow morning and I haven't read it yet. Ah. But, uh, and, and in that instance, it can be a little bit about, let me get through the chapter. But then the opportunity when we discussing it together is when um, you can really focus on what's, what's being read and what it means to, to me and what I can take from it. Hello everybody, um, we're just talking, we're just here at work, we finished a job at a customer's house and we were on our way to pick up some lunch and we're talking about things other than your normal kind of quiet time reading the Bible that help focus you in on the kingdom of God and having that as a priority and one thing that I find really helpful is uh, while we're at work in the van or while we're working, uh, Andy who, who we work for is just really good at steering the conversation towards the things of the kingdom of God. Uh, and we often pray for customers before we arrive at their house or we'll pray for people we know or we we'll pray for issues going on in our lives um, as well as having a good laugh and lots of fun. Um, so just this time together in the van is often a time that really helps focus my mind on things of the Kingdom of God. I'm gonna hand over, turn the camera around and, and you'll see Joe and Andy in the front. Here we are. Over to you Joe. Yeah. I do really find it encouraging and, and helpful uh, with our conversations about the kingdom and God. Um, it really refreshes my mind and, you know, continually helps me to stay focused on God. Uh, yeah, and I find that just a, a massive blessing. Yeah. Over to you, Andy. It's an honour and a privilege to work with Christian guys. We get to encourage each other, um, iron sharpening iron wanting to point each other towards Jesus um, and our walk with him and our growing likeness to him. So yeah, that, that's that's so good to be able to do that. Um, in all that we do, we do want to work as if working for the Lord. And so that helps us with an attitude of having a, a mind of Christ, wanting to do all things well, doing them for him, um, knowing that we're accountable to him as well. Um, and then other things like because we're you know self self-employed work very grateful for all that the Lord puts our way in terms of the the sales and things that come in and so continuously being thankful grateful it's good it's good for us to be grateful mm -hmm. and also rejoicing um, in in all circumstances mm -hmm. um, that, that's the aim it's, it's sometimes hard to do that of course but it's great to be with others who can encourage you in that way um, and, and considering how we might live for him in the everyday in the small details mm. looking great. forward to our KFC <laughs> <laughs> thanks everybody